Hey everyone and welcome back. If you are new here then hello, my name is Zoe and this is my YouTube channel. Today we are recreating a viral TikTok trend which is going around at the moment and that is the latte makeup trend. I absolutely love this makeup. It's like clean girl aesthetic vibes but all like bronzy tones, like bronze goddess vibes. It looks beautiful and it's perfect for the summertime. The key to this makeup trend is no reddish browns. You want to stick to like more neutrals like caramel colours rather than like warm reddish browns which I actually struggled with because I always go for warm reddish browns whereas today we are not doing that. Sticking to more like caramelly, almost like yellowish undertones, more neutral colours, that's what we're going for today. Not much blush, I don't think any blush really. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. I've kept my eyebrows like sort of like fluffy and natural, the pictures that I've seen tend to keep them more like fluffy, wispy. So I've filled them in with a bit of pencil and I've run some brow gel through them. So I haven't soaked them down like flat to my skin like I usually do. And then I've also, what else have I put on? I put on some moisturiser. This is the Prep and Perfect from Primark and I love this, especially to prep the skin for makeup. And we're gonna start with skin today because eyes are quite simple. To be fair, this whole makeup is really easy and simple if you wanna follow along with. But I think I'll switch it up today. Usually I do eyes first, but I'm gonna start with skin first today. So we're going to use the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade four. I'm gonna put this all over because the skin that I've seen is quite like natural skin, not too full coverage, but like glowy and like it covers everything that needs to cover. So we'll start with this. I've been using this quite often, especially because the sun has been out shining and the weather's been really nice. This is beautiful. And I didn't know what I was gonna expect with this, but I've been wearing it all the time and I absolutely love it. Just look at that. You could wear this on its own. It looks absolutely stunning. I'm so glad that I picked it up because I was hesitating at first, but I'm glad that I went for it. And then for foundation, we're going to use the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. I actually did a review on this maybe last two videos back, so you can go and watch it. It's very beautiful, very skin-like, and still lets your skin show through, but kind of covers everything that it needs to cover. I absolutely loved it and I think it's perfect for this kind of makeup look. So I'm going to pop a couple of pumps on the back of my hand. I probably could have done with a bit more of a bronzier shade for this, but we will make it work. So I'm just going to pop this all over. With this kind of makeup look, it's very like natural skin, like not too much coverage. I mean, you can recreate it in any way that suits you but I think for the summertime this makeup look is just beautiful. It's still like keeping the glow of the flawless filter underneath which I absolutely love. I'm even going to take some of this over my eyelid as well because I'm not going to be carving out my brow or anything. We want this to be kind of like an effortless. Like I haven't really made a lot of effort but I also have at the same time. <laughs> so for contour slash bronzer I'm going to use the ModCon contour from KVD Beauty and I feel like this has more of like a caramel undertone to it which I'm trying to find everything without like a warm reddish brown so we'll see how it blends out but this is quite a bronzy makeup look so I am going to like bronze up quite a bit so I'm going to start a little bit first and then we're going to build it up I'm also going to pop some of this on my eyelids as well and like wing it out I did tan a little bit for this video because I knew it would look a little bit better with a tan because it is so bronzy. There's also, I don't feel like a lot of blush or any blush at all for this makeup look. So we're going to have to bronze up a little bit more so our skin doesn't look like too flat. And then with this, I'm literally just blending it out. It's like a wing all over the lid. So that is my first layer. I'm going to do conceal it next and then apply a little bit more of this. So for the under eye, it's not too like highlighted and brightened. So I'm going to use a concealer shade which is quite similar to the foundation that I've got on. This may be like one shade lighter. This is light medium sand in the Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm using this mainly just for a little bit of coverage 
and a little bit of brightening, not too much. And just brighten slightly. So I'd stick to maybe one, two shades max lighter than your foundation. And I'm just taking my foundation brush and just blending that in. I need to do a little bit more bronzer, so we'll go back in a little bit more of this. The ModCon bronzers and blushes honestly blend out so beautifully and so easily. They are very, very liquidy and I absolutely love them for the summertime. I really like this shade as well, actually. It goes perfect for this look. This is the shade Light Warm. And I am going to bring this sort of down more onto the cheeks as well because we're not going to be wearing any blush today, which is going to feel weird for me because... I love wearing blush now, never used to be a blush girl, but now I can't do my makeup without it. <laughs> okay, so that's my skin pretty much done. It's very effortless and bronzy. You can still see my skin showing through, but it's kind of covered everything that it needs to. I think it looks quite flawless, but we do need to control some of the glow. I want to keep the glow in the right places, but just tone it down in a few areas. So I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury. This is the airbrush, airbrush, airbrush for this finish. I'm using a compact powder rather than a loose powder because I still want this to look like quite natural. I don't want it to look like too powdery. And I'll literally go in and just in like the centre areas just to take off a little bit of the shine. And mainly in the centre where you don't want to look like too sweaty. Okay, so now we're going to do bronzer. I picked the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is in the shade bronzer as well. I picked this one because, again, it's quite neutral. It's quite a caramelly colour. It's not too, like, red in tone or too orange either. It's actually a really nice neutral. I think I'm going to use this on the eyes as well. So I'm just going to apply this all over where we've just done that other bronzer. And, again, I'm going to treat it a little bit more like a blush as well and bring it onto the top of my cheeks. Okay, I'm super happy with that for now. Let's move on to the eyes. So again, very neutral caramel tones, browns everywhere. I am gonna start first with my bronzer though. So I'm just gonna take this on a big fluffy brush. This is going literally everywhere. You don't have to be super precise with it. All over the lid, into the crease and then just blend it out. This is a really pretty color and it's perfect for this makeup. It's not too orangey brown, it's not too reddish brown. I love makeup looks like this as well because they really are so effortless but I think they look so beautiful at the end. And they're quite easy to like recreate if you wanna follow along. Okay, we're also gonna load this on underneath the eyes as well. And to make it a little bit more sort of sultry and smoky, don't be afraid to like blend it down quite far, especially with a lighter transition colour like this. It'll just add to the effect in the end if you blend it down a little bit further. Okay, I'm actually happy with how that's looking at the moment. I'm going to do eyeliner next and then see how I feel about adding more shadow. I'm using Costa Riche Eye Pencil from MAC. Now this is quite a warm brown but it's the only sort of brown eyeliner that I've got. So I'm going to line my top and lower waterline first. I don't think that it's sort of too red in tone that you're going to really notice. Okay, then I'm going to take that eyeliner and I'm going to smudge it along the top lash line. I've not decided if I'm doing any more eyeshadow. I think I'm just going to apply a bit of a shimmery one on the top. So not a lot of this but just a little bit and smudge it into the lash line just to create a little bit of extra dimension. Okay, so I've just smoked that along the lash line. I do kind of feel like something's missing, but I don't want to like mess it up by adding too much. I feel like I'm at that stage where the more you mess, the more that you're gonna feel like you've ruined it because I actually, I do really like how it looks at the moment. Okay, next I'm gonna take this middle shade here out of this palette. It's a very sort of bronzy shade. It's not too gold. It's a really pretty color. I'm gonna apply this just with my finger and I'm gonna start just in the center. And I think this will finish it off really nicely. I'm also popping a little bit of that just underneath my eye as well. Okay, I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm not gonna be putting any false lashes on because I feel like this is more 
kind of clean girl aesthetic. I've not really seen a lot of eyelashes used. And then to keep to the bronze vibes, I'm going to use a brown mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex, the brown one. And I'm going to really coat them up so they do look more like volumized. Okay, then I'm just going to wipe off the lip balm that I've got on and then we can do a lip. I've chosen this lip pencil. This is from Rimmel. What is the shade of it? 705. Again, it's quite like a neutral brown. So I'm going to overline my li my lines, overline my lips with this and then just blend it in a bit. I don't know whether that's a bit too cool. I actually changed my mind. I'm going to use Morphe's Bite Me. I think that was a bit too like purpley and undertone. This one's definitely a bit more like caramel. Okay, then in the centre, I'm going to go old school. I'm going to use a tiny bit of concealer just to neutralise the like purple tones in my lips. And I'm going to just blend this in literally like the tiniest amount. And then I'm going to do a gloss on the top. I just didn't have a lipstick, which I thought would go. So we'll just do this instead. Okay, then I would actually leave it like that. I think it looks really nice, but I'm going to pop a bit of a gloss on the top. This is from Ollie Henriksen. It's actually like a lip treatment, but it looks really beautiful when it's on. So I'm going to apply a little bit of this. Guys, okay, so that completes my take on the Latte Makeup Trend. I absolutely love this, especially for summertime. It's like nice and smoky, but it's also wearable for daytime as well. I absolutely love it. I love the tones. I love how nice and bronzy it is. Let me know if you guys like it down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy it and please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next week in my next one. Bye!